Hi, I'm Nathan Budoff. I'm a painter. Um, and these are two of my paintings in the show. Rising Water is even the smallest among us. And as the title, especially this one indicates, one of my biggest concerns is to help all of us to look at the other life that's around us and appreciate it and care for it and think of the world as much more alive than we often do. And so this involves in this project, singling out different creatures, different animals, um, in this case, you know, elephants and river shrimp, and changing their scale, putting them in different contexts. Um, often they're animals that I have some kind of a relationship with. I mean, I'm not close to elephants intimately, you know, personally, but I've read a lot about them. I'm really interested in them as creatures in terms of communication and intelligence. And these river shrimp, some of them live in a yunque in Puerto Rico where I live. And there's the same kind of relationship with the animals in rising water. I've read a lot about octopuses. I've only seen them a few times, but they're extremely interesting animals. I'm very intrigued by them. And uh, that kind of what brings them up. At the same time, I almost always want my work to be rooted in something real and concrete from my experience as a human being. Um, and in both of these cases, the trees, there are two trees here, and there's a different tree here, although it could look similar. They're all made, drawn from trees around where I live. I live in an apartment complex that's kind of a tall building, and it allows me to go up to the top floors to sketch some things from above, you know, with an aerial perspective, like this tree, and other times I'll just look at something a little bit, a little bit up, like three or four stories, or almost at ground level. But I feel like this combination of real things that I see every day and then things that I've researched and sometimes seen a few times but don't have always present is part of what gives a richness to the work that's not just completely an intellectual exercise. Um, and finally, I think the other key aspect is really thinking about the design of the visual space and how I'm going to have these things play with each other and then the care and detail and brilliance that I try to give to each aspect in its own way. Some in a more calm, simplified way, and some in a much more elaborate, detailed, labored way. So I hope the work sparks your interest and gives you things to think about. Thanks.